Today's video is going to be an update on the LS's and we are pretty well getting ready to pressure wash them. Uh, Amos is going a step further than just shoving napkins and paper towels down the, through the exhaust ports and taking his uh, walker arms off so all his valves will be closed. So no water will make it down in the cylinders. Is he a smart man? Let me know in the comment section. So yeah, interesting video for you guys. We will be using a big ass pressure washer and some heavy degreaser. The engine looks extremely clean on this one with the valve cover off. No oil build up at all. Very good. If he's had a cracked head or something, you would see like tons of oil gunk and stuff just build up on it. That's a sign of a cracked head. So if you do got a lot of gunk built up, it could be just, you know, not maintenance, but most likely it's got a cracked head. So clean your heads off and always check them for cracks if you do have a gunked up motor. So we loosen each walker arm so the valves are fully closed. Now we are going to put the valve cover back on it and tighten it down to keep water out. Okay. Look how clean this motor is. How many miles does this have on it, Chris? 200,000 even. Oh, 200 even. 200, even and it looks like a, it's been well took care of. Very nice 5.3. So we're going to do this in the same way we did that one. Yeah. Power stroke from Walmart is the pressure washer we're using. So we are basically going to flip this motor over because as you can see we got this full of water. You see it moving in there. So we're just going to turn this upside down, let it all drain, and then wash our porch off because it's, it's concrete. Oh, we got a pressure washer. We'll wash it off if the oil comes out. I'm going to show a pressure washer, yeah? So this is pretty much the engines after they pressure wash guys. They look extremely good. We will be, uh, we didn't concentrate too much on the oil pans because we are changing them to a lower profile oil pan. Actually a homemade oil pan on this one and a factory bought uh, retrofit pan for this one. If it comes in today, we'll be unboxing that. So that's a video to look forward because we're waiting on this oil pan. We done got this and you know. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like if you're doing an LS swap. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you're putting in. Enjoy hearing from everyone. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.